Um, no, that's what's happening. A lot of these brothers and sisters, um, the people that we see every day in our community is dealing with, you know, what uh, Queens Flip referred to as displaced anger, stuck emotions, um, appropriated energy. You know, Brother Polite um, refers to it as that. Um, a lot of us, man, we have been through so much. Uh, so much has been done to us and uh, so much we have allowed to be done to us. Um, and a lot of times when you see brothers drinking, man, what happens is it activates the subconscious mind. And then you start thinking about certain things. It's almost like you're in a dream state, right? When you go to um, sleep, a lot of people say you go to the astral plane, right? And that's where your dreams at. That's where your dreams come alive, right? In your meditation state, you slow down your thoughts, right? When we go to sleep, <clears throat> we slow down. We're still thinking. Our body is still moving. Our brain is still thinking this is where dreams and whatnot come from, man. Um, so we, we're still thinking, right? But the displaced energy um, is so important because trauma is involved, right? And trauma breaks up family relationships, um, you know, one-on-one -on -one relationships. It even breaks up communities because people that have been through so much trauma... They, they look at life differently, right? Meaning that, me and somebody was talking about this, I can't remember. Um, I don't know if it's me and the brother Karim Johnson, someone. But if you go to, say you go to Brooklyn, we're just going to use Brooklyn. And um, say you get jumped in East New York, right? At a young age, you might take on the impression that all Brooklyn people jump people. And if you go to Brooklyn, something's bad going to happen to you. Just like... Uh, Long Island. I used to frequent Long Island when I was uh, young, right? I knew the MS-13 was out there from for a minute now, right? Maybe they didn't call themselves that, but my aunt would tell me. When I got off, I got off at um, Saint. Um, no, no, I'm sorry. It was uh, West Amityville. West Amityville. Get off at that stop, and the block, and the, the the apartment, the house. I'm sorry, the house was. Yeah, about 10 blocks away, man. 12 blocks. I would take a cab when I had it, or some days I felt like walking. Uh, but she would tell me, yo, man, the gang sit out here, boom, 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 this, that, and the third. I guess it's, I don't know, it's how I moved. Maybe it just didn't happen to me, but I did see them chase someone um, down. This dude was on a bike, and they was chasing him. This was uh, maybe 9-6, 9-7, you know, this, that, um, this, that, and the third, right? So, so yeah, it's this place energy, and I'm, I'm glad that Brother Queen's uh, Flip brought that up. Because a lot of us are dealing with it, we just don't know how to um, get rid of it or balance it, right? So we pass it on to someone else, right? Now, when you pass um, your energy on to someone else, or, or you just try to pass uh, your judgment or your karma on to someone else, what happens is you take the wisdom from yourself. Because in anything that happens to us, every situation... It's wisdom, man. It's knowledge. You can you can get knowledge from it, man. Just dig into the situation, analyze it, meditate on it, and say, why did this happen? What part did I play in it? <clears throat> how can I convince or how can I prevent this from happening next time? Or, or does this happen? Because some things just happen to some people on a constant, man. I don't care what they tell you, it just happens to them on a constant because of their mind state, right? Uh things that happened to us when we was uh six years old. We have to, um, if you can't let it go, then yes, you have to do things that's going to help you and that's going to balance you. Some of these brothers and sisters in our community and with outside, outside of our community, is um, they need help, man. They need help. They need help. You know what I mean? Okay, the sister said, how can I get that help? I don't know, I'm getting texts from everywhere. Um, the sister just asked, how can she get that help, man? A lot of times we feel that we can go to our next door neighbor or we could go to somebody on the block that might be going through the same thing that we're going through. Some people just don't speak it, so you think it's all good with them. <clears throat> but they could be going through the similar similar thing or, some, or sometimes worse. We go to them and sometimes that person amplifies it because then they tell 10 other people that tell five other people that tell three other people now everyone knows your um your business and you seem like naked with it you're like oh my god and these people ain't really trying to help so a lot of us we need professional help man we need professional help we need to go see a therapist and there's nothing wrong with it there's nothing wrong with it. if you can go 
uh, to your thought friend or if you can go to your uh, go to your deadbeat low life homeboy for advice, you can go to a therapist, man. Your insurance is gonna pay for it most likely. And you sit in, you know, and just, I mean, you have to, we got to learn how to balance, accept, and embrace um, um, that energy. You know, that energy, those feelings, those displaced feelings, we have to learn how to embrace it and stop running from it, man. The more you run from it, it's just going to pop up. And it's going to pop up when you least expect it. A lot of times, you could be in a good relationship with a good woman. And these um, issues pop back up because you never settled them. And you never settled them. And then you you thinking that, oh, man, you're a bad person. Or, uh, you know, the relationship is over because this, that, and the third. A lot of times, um, a lot, yeah, a lot of times it is us. You know, mentally, physically, and spiritually. But a lot of times we have to get <clears throat> these emotions under control.